Hey guys, how are you? This is a general reading for the collective of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It's not a date or time specific reading. Um, so whenever you come upon it, if it speaks to you, it may be your message at that time. But it is a general reading, so it won't resonate for everyone. Take what resonates, leave the, leave the rest. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, I do want to make note that even though we are technically past the full moon in Taurus with the lunar eclipse, even still today, w the energies are still per pervasive and we can kind of find them creeping into the readings. So I want to make that um, make you aware of that. So that whenever you're watching this, you may want to go back to the 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th of November to see what was happening for you at that time. Um, and especially if you're here as a Scorpio sun, it is it was a fixed sign um, eclipse because the sun is in your sign, Scorpio. Happy birthday to our sister and brother Scorpios, by the way. Um, and so it could have really caused some upheaval and or plot twists and major life changes and shifts for many of you. Okay, so I just want to make you aware of that. Here we are. Work Your Light Oracle is what I'm pulling from for an anchor card. <clears throat> Get grounded. Empaths, highly sensitives, connect with nature. Yes. Oh my gosh. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Empaths, highly sensitives. Go out in nature. Like stat, get grounded. So important. Uh, especially for those of you who are watching this at the time that I'm recording it, um, we're very close to it because as I said, this was a powerful nation, sun there in your sign, Scorpio sun with the south node. We've got, you know, Uranus across the way with the moon and the north node and yeah, Venus and Mercury hanging out with you in, <laughs> it's like crazy. It's been a lot of energy. Go get grounded. Perfect for a water sign. Okay. I am um, doing a soulmate split spread. So I'm going to pull the cards and then I'll walk you through it. Wow. Uh, so your person here, I'm saying this is Scorpio's side of the spread. And this is your divine counterpart. It can absolutely come through reverse. So don't, you know, whichever side of the spread speaks more to your experience, go with that got the king of pentacles and we have the queen of wands very interesting dynamic here queen of wands in your power um absolutely uh, feeling that sense of your presence your leadership your power your ability to make things happen take no prisoners kind of stuff king of pentacles holding things down um it is a masculine archetype of a life partner i will say that also the one who shows up for you in 3D. In the past, two of pentacles, uh, present experience of the connection is the star. That is gorgeous because it's about, um, potentially about wishes being fulfilled, um, not losing hope, keeping hope alive, and then receiving the miracle. Ten of Pentacles in the future for this person. So we are in consideration here, or this person is, of life partnership, or at least a connection that has some staying power that might be able to go the distance. We have the Hanged Man for you here in the past. Uh, that came out in the morning musing. So when, I t when I'm thinking about this, because we have the Two of Pentacles and the Hanged Man, both energies are kind of stuck. Um, not stuck in a negative way. It's like for the hanged man, a little bit of a temporary standstill. And now I see where it's coming from because your person was kind of sort of juggling there. Um, maybe sort of trying to decide when the time would be right or feeling torn between two choices and you were left hanging. Right? Present experience of the connection, five of pentacles. Oh my goodness. So I'm 
getting the impression that you're taking your power back here on some level, um, getting more solid and stable, or at least uh, rising back up into that part of you that will not be devalued. Nine of Swords, though, this was in the Morning Musing too, though it won't come without some anxiety and a little bit of um, energy where you're kind of like running the same thing in your mind on a loop. It just doesn't let you rest. So that may be coming up for you. We shall see. Let me go ahead and clarify. King of Pentacles. The world, strength card, look at that. Three major arcana landing on a king. Uh, this person, whoever it is, has experienced a major life shift or is in the process. We are closing out an old cycle. We're kind of preparing for a new cycle with that strength card, overcoming obstacles, getting our confidence back. I'm saying our, but it's this person. And then the awakening right answering the call second chances forgiveness redemption reunion you can look at it in all of those ways but what's kind of underneath the surface by the way if you're new to the channel welcome first of all second of all when i pull from under the deck what i'm pulling for is what's going on behind the scenes or in unconscious awareness in the psyche of the person from the top of the deck this is what they're aware of right their knees might be knocking a little bit as they close out one cycle and begin a new cycle, but they're kind of getting their game face on and finding the ground beneath their feet, King of Pentacles. And then underneath an unconscious awareness is answering the call for a reunion or second chances or um, seeking forgiveness or redemption. That's, I mean, look at the card. It's super biblical. These guys are in their graves being called back from the dead from the archangel. So, hmm. I know, I just sometimes need to point out that that is a crossroads energy. Look at the crossroads right there. You're being given the second chance. Do you take it? This person is indicating that on some level they are ready. They're bracing themselves for it. Two of Pentacles in the past. Chariot. <laughs> Knight of Wands. Two of Swords. Very interesting. So I feel like this person's instincts was to move quick, fast, and in a hurry. There's the passion. There's the impulse. There's the let's go, let's go. I want, I, I want this. And, you know, I travel at the speed of light in the direction of my passions. But then that two of pentacles is the timing right and underneath was the two of swords. And is this the best decision? So I have a feeling there's something in the way here. Um that tempers this person's impulses. I'm not sure what that is, but I'm bound to find out. The star in the present experience of the connection. Four of Cups, that was out this morning. The Magician and the Two of Cups. Um, oh, I know. I think this person is hoping that they didn't miss an opportunity. Sometimes a four of cups, it's like there's the ace being handed from the hand of spirit. Look at the hand of spirit, holding the ace, offering it to this guy, and he's just looking at the three of cups. <sighs> you know? And so sometimes I see the four of cups as a missed opportunity. And the star here is like holding on hope right? Holding out hope. I didn't miss this opportunity and trying to manifest the dream of being in connection of, of the soulmate. So I'm feeling like this person is very aware that there's emotional distance between you, is none too happy about it, is sort of seeking a second chance there. And I think it's all because in the past they hesitated. And even though I don't see the Eight of Swords, which is normally the second guessing card, the Two of Pentacles and the Two of Swords is giving me the same feeling. Second guessing. Like, uh, I don't know what to do. And then whatever it is they decided, they now see that that might have um, 
not panned out well. In the future, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Seven of Wands, Five of Swords, Six of Pentacles. I don't think they're going to self-sabotage again. Here's what I see. Ten of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles underneath. Underneath this person knows I've got to be invested in this connection 100% and in equal measure to what I receive. So there is this awareness in some realm of a need for reciprocity if the relationship has a chance of either going the distance or at least of having some sort of a future. So I feel like this person is starting to kind of rise up against their own self-sabotage. I do feel as if this is someone who probably struggles with commitment. Let me say that. Um, and may have stalled, right? They're better angels who are like, go, 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 right? Chariot, Knight of Wands, go, go, go. And the Two of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. Uh, and now they're like, yeah, I'm not going to do that again. I have to be ready to give as well as I receive. That's what I see there. Let's go ahead and look at your energy here. Queen of Wands. Wow. Well, I love when you show up in your own reading, Scorpio. There's the death card. Um, Queen of Wands, death, two of wands, and the eight of cups. I kind of feel like this is you. Remember when I said, feeling your power, taking no prisoners. There it is. I know where I'm headed. You're coming with me or I'm out. Something's got to give. Something's got to change. Something's got to grow. Something's got to transform. It almost feels like you're in the power seat of your determination of where you're headed. And this person is either coming with you or you're traveling on your own. Very powerful. And I say it in a good way. I, I, I mean, I don't, I'm not, I mean, well, okay. So let's be, let's have some straight talk here. Queen of Wands can be pretty bitchy, quite frankly, of all the queens. She can be. I'm not feeling that as much because of this Five of Pentacles. I feel like you've been on the outside unable to access the, this person or the warmth of the connection or feeling devalued on some level by their decisions. Two of Swords, Two of Pentacles in the past. I kind of feel that's what you're done with. That's what you're stepping into your power about is, no, I know who I am. I know what I'm worth. I know where I'm headed. That's what this whole, as I'm recording this, this whole lunation, this whole eclipse that's been building for six months and will unfold for the next six months has been calling you to this moment to choose the path and to drop what doesn't serve you and what will not help you get to the, to the goal. And if it has to be this person in this relationship, this connection, so be it. It's, it's like, that's what I'm getting. It's almost like I can see your decision is made. You know where you're headed. They're coming with you and changing and growing and transforming with you by your side or you're on your own and you're okay with that. That's what I'm seeing. Hanged man in the past. Yeah, everything got put on hold. Page of Swords, Queen of uh, Justice, I'm sorry, King of Wands. Okay, so we have a very strong connection here. Lots of passion, lots of chemistry, lots of desire. King and Queen of Wands, got it. But I think this person was unavailable. It's coming through reversed and, it, and you were put on hold by this person's indecision and therefore they are coming through King of Wands, unavailable lover, and you kind of looking for clues. So, like, when's the balance coming? Like, when am I going to get my validation? When am I going to be vindicated here? Um, looking for clues about that page of swords uh, and not really getting it, just kind of being stuck in the matrix. Five of Pentacles, your present experience of the connection is not, it's not stable. 
it feels um, like you kind of feel abandoned to some degree. Queen of Swords, you got a lot of questions. Ace of Wands, you want the warmth, you want the love, you want a happily ever after. And I still think this Queen of Swords is asking what, you know, are you coming with me? I'm not going to be on the outside anymore. I'm not, I'm not going to be left out in the cold. It's time for some action. And if I have to take the action to move toward my happiness, that's what I'm going to do. So I do feel the Queen of Swords because she's a truth teller and a truth seeker. She's kind of coming through a little bit more truth teller energy that this isn't working for you. This isn't, this leaves you feeling very unstable and unsure of your future. And I kind of feel like this ace, it's, it's being handed to you. There's your hand ready to receive it. And the truth of the situation is you got an, a, an, enough love in the tank for your happily ever after. And if it doesn't lie here, it lies out there. And that's where you're headed. It lies out there on the horizon. You got the world in your hands. The world is in the palm of your hands. Oh, Scorpio, it feels good. I like this side of you. I'm saying that with love. I like all sides of you. But you know what I mean? It feels really thought out. It feels confident self-assured queen of wands it feels you know no drama queen of swords it feels like i'm ready now nine of swords in the future doesn't mean it won't be without a few sleepless nights right because you're going to be worried is it, is it, you know, is this thing just going to end? Am I, is this just like, am I going to just struggle through this painful ending? Um, Nine of swords, ten of swords, eight of wands, ace of swords underneath. So here's the thing with the ace of swords underneath. The ace of swords underneath is letting you know that on some level in your unconscious awareness, the answers will be there. The clarity, the insight will be available to you, but you may not see it right away because you may be all too mentally consumed with the anxiety and the fear. Um, and like I said, a little obsessed adjacent about a painful cut, a painful ending in this connection and no real closure, no ability to kind of speak to it. But spirits underneath here, and supporting you with insight and the ability to go, oh, I see this more clearly so I don't have to sweat this out. Um, I'm not sure what the insight is. Maybe I'll see that in the extended, but I do feel like I'm seeing all of your self-assuredness, all of your confidence, all of the decision-making coming into the moment saying, you know, you're, you know, you're either with me or I'm, I'm, I'm moving on. Um, and that feels really good. But then in the future, you know how we kind of take that big step forward and then we kind of panic? That's what I see. So what I wanna do is tell you the astrology of what shows up here astrologically. But I do wanna let you know if this is really resonating for you, if it's your reading, there is a link in the description box below in the first sentence. It's gonna take you to the extended and I'm gonna continue the reading. So I pu push all these cards up. It's the same decks and I'm just gonna to continue to pull the two of you together and look at the relationship dynamics because now that I've played it out separately, I wanna see the two of you together. I'm gonna to get you a message from this person. I'm gonna let you know what energies they're picking up from you message from spirit of the universe what's going on that that you you know some guidance and direction and maybe even a warning hidden energies what's going on behind the scenes with this person that you don't know but probably should and then the outcome position what might you expect as things unfold so that's what we're going to do and some oracle too but here's who shows up king of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn world is aquarius in capricorn strength card is leo judgment is scorpio 
Um, we have the chariot as Cancerian energy. The, the knight of wands happens to be Sagittarius. The star is Aquarius. Magician is Virgo and Gemini. Look at all these cards here. Queen of wands, king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. More Scorpio in the death card. Uh, hanged man is Pisces. Justice is Libra. Queen of swords, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And that's what I have for you. Yeah. Go get grounded, and um, if this is resonating for you, the link to the extended is below. I'll see you there in a second. Otherwise, bye for now.